no flashes and bright lights may harm the animal eyesight. So we need you to switch off all those lights and flashes on your cameras. Let's do this for the animals, okay? All right, now I see that you guys are from all over the world. So because this flash photography rule is so important, we're gonna try this in different languages. Now, firstly, anyone who speaks Hindi out here? Anyone? Okay, quite a lot. Okay, I'm gonna try this, okay? Namaste. Namaste. Sablo apne camera ke slash bunkiji Yeah. Right. I'm glad I did that right. Now, secondly, do we have any Japanese guests out here? Japanese, any Japanese guests? Oh, we have a few. Kumawa. All right. Uh, that's a nice story. The forest comes to life. Hidden amongst the shadows, nocturnal animals emerge from dark silhouettes, unveiling an incredible world that few have ever seen. In a short while, we'll be joined by a friend of ours on stage. His name is Toffee, and Toffee is a white raccoon. Known for their dexterous falls and lightning quick reflexes, they can catch. Their prey, which consists mainly of fish. Good evening and welcome to the world of the night predators. I've often been asked, how do nocturnal animals survive? Well, all they do is to climb trees and hang on to branches effortlessly. Now, here in Asia, we are known as the Asian bear cat. The short, stubby legs and its bear like walk. Oh, and by the way, the females are the more dominant gender in the Binturong family, weighing 20% heavier and larger than the males. Now, besides having good vision, these Binturongs also have a very good keen sense of smell for survival. Definitely one of the most versatile of the night hunters. Now, tonight, we're going to test that keen sense of smell. But in order for us to do that, I'm going to need the help of a brave young volunteer. Any kids want to help us out? Uh, we already... Oh, hold on, hold on. One more message. Okay. Do you know what's gonna happen if you don't open your hand? <laughs> Never mind, just open your hand. <laughs> here comes Ted. Come over here, Ted. Hey, smile for your camera. If you're scared, don't look. Okay, Ted's gonna be here. Since he's here. Since he's there. Thinking. Mm. Ah, oh, Professor Ted. Ah, oh, he's gonna try again. Tap, open, and he found the grave. Good job there, Ted. Thank you very much, Natsumi and Ted, for helping me fish out. No, not just one, but those of you on the other side, don't worry, we have one more that's bigger. Out comes Oscar. And Oscar is a Eurasian eagle owl together with Zuhairi. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the owl's eyesight is a hundred times better than yours and mine. But it is not their eyesight, however, it is their hearing power that is most useful in locating their prey in the dark. Now, the owl's ears are set asymmetrical. This means one ear hole is higher than the other. And there he is. What a magnificent creature. Now, I think you might know them as the laughing hyenas because of the hysterical human-like laughter. Why so serious? She's not laughing tonight. Her name is Timba. The hyenas have very strong, powerful digestive system with highly acidic fluids in their guts, allowing them to swallow the whole prey, which includes their bones, their hooves, their teeth, their skin, and even their horns. Oh, the hyena is trying really hard to take that stick. That's really one tough stick. Oh, these hyenas have very strong, powerful, crushing strength. If you see one in the wild, you do not want to get close to these animals. The hyenas live in a group called Clans, and they are female dogs. You have to switch off your flashes as well, alright? Come on, come on, wherever you are. 
And because it belongs to the cat family, sometimes when they're supposed to be out, they see something in the grass that might catch their attention, like crickets, for example. And they're just out there wondering, looking for the crickets. All right, let's see whether I can catch any sightings of the next friend of ours. His name is Cash, right? Now, you will see that he will look like a, a, a cheetah, all right? But actually, they have relatively short hair. They're the miniature version. Of course, that's Stu, the trainer for Cash. All right, now watch this. Stu's got Cash attention. And the short ball is going to be circling around looking at that piece of meat. <laughs> Cash is not attentive tonight. Because it's a very young servo, okay? So he likes to play a lot. Hey, he chose to sit down. Come on, Cash. Hey, did it! That would be you, Kid Maggie! Right over here. Okay, look at everyone smile. Let's give you some pictures. All right, good, good, good. Where'd you, where'd you find her? Okay, okay. you're busy handling the snake. Okay, well, never mind. So, hi, what's your name? Anand. Anand, where are you from, Anand? India. India. Ladies and gentlemen, Anand from India. <laughs> if you buy, they die. What do I mean by that? When capturing these animals, they go through a lot of stress. and. Poachers, they don't care, they just cram all these animals in one small cage and when they ship these animals from one end to the other... Oh, that's a tortoise. Yes. <laughs> when they cram... Hey! <laughs> Over here to recycle these items. Hey, Steel! Oh, look like a submarine. <laughs> this torpedo-looking animal, like I said, is the oriental small clone otter, the smallest of the otter species. With the rock toes and streamlined bodies, makes them highly adaptable for aquatic living, feeding on fish, snails, crayfish, and other aquatic animals. Still, is it that hard? Just drop it in! Yes, one down, one more to go! Now, they are different cousins to weasels, skunks, and badgers as well. Drop it in! Stop playing, Steel! <laughs> okay, next up, take the bin shortle. Alright, let's give it up for Steel! Oriental Small Toad Altar! Dwelling on the lower grounds of the Himalayas are the burrows, also known as the Himalayan blue sheep. They're named so because of a distinct bluish tinge on their grayish coat, which is evident in matured males. This helps the baral to camouflage in the snowy regions. A few more Himalayan tars are... Time to meet some of our royal teams, the king of all mountain goats, as they're often referred to, the Makors. Matured males have beautiful... Do you know that flamingos are not hatched with pink feathers, but grey ones for the first two to three years of their lives? The flamingo's pink plumage okay. comes from its diet oh, of algae and shrimps, which is high in carotene. Goes to show you are what you eat. A little strip of river to our left. Let's see what it has in store for us. Yeah, <laughs> 12 points in Hindi, referring to the number of branches on the antlers. This handsome member of the deer family came very close to extinction in the 1970s. Luckily, the numbers have revived, but habitat degradation continues to threaten them. Much conservation efforts need to be done to ensure they continue to populate the swamplands of India. Specialize in hunting while the adult males protect the pride and territory. Squabbles are common at the lion's dining area as the males always get the lion's share while the rest wait patiently for their measly other animals. Even though an air of serenity surrounds them, giraffes can deliver lethal kicks with their hind legs when provoked. 
The strikingly beautiful white antelopes that you see are the scimitar horned oryxes. Though they are believed to be extinct in the wild since the year 2000, these oryxes are breeding successfully in several zoos. With concerted conservation of a very powerful digestive system with highly acidic fluids and are capable of eating the entire prey, including the horns, bones, and even the teeth. Across the hyenas are the shy and cautious Nyala, a member of the spiral horned antelopes. The males have slate gray fur coats with horns, while the animals have been known to gang up and attack the mighty lions. They can easily kill and tear the lions apart using those sharp horns. Leads the closely knit family group called a sounder. The boars have rots on both sides of the snout, hidden by their bushy hair. This is the color pigmentation on their skin. They vary from blonde to near white. Lions have often been regarded as symbols of pride and strength in many civilizations. Here in Singapore, the lion is regarded as the national animal. According to legend, some Nira Utama, a prince from Palembang, was out on a Ancient-looking animals have changed little in the last 20 million years. While this kind of wild dogs, they live and hunt in packs of up to 20 individuals. Fearsome hunters with excellent stamina, they can run, jump, and swim very well. They're known to use whistles to communicate with one another. Speaking of males, on the right, meet Sal Rira, our bull elephant born and raised here at the night safari. His name means warrior in the Malay language. Coming up on the left is a herd of female elephants. Can you spot the calf? Her name is Neha, which means love in Hindi. Born in May 2016 and weighing in at 150 kilograms at birth, Neha is testament to Night Safari's successful elephant breeding program. Female elephants have a gestation period of almost 22 months. The elephant by the Malaysian Wildlife Authorities near Perak's Chalong River, hence his name. Look at his fine-looking tusks. While the survival of the African elephants is severely threatened by the illegal ivory trade, the biggest threats to Asian elephants are habitat loss and human-animal conflict. The night safari and Singapore Zoo support various elephant conservation projects where wildlife researchers study these animals in the wild. The lives of the tigers in grave danger. Almost immediately, we think of the wolf howling. Do you know that each wolf howls at a different note? Their haunting chorus makes them sound larger than their actual pet size. Found in the river rhine grasslands of northern India and southern parts of Nepal, the Indian rhino is the largest of the three rhino species in Asia. Thus, it is also known as the Greater Asian Rhino. Its excellent sense of hearing and smell makes up for its poor eyesight. <laughs> Remind you of Bambi the deer. However, it is not. If you recall the story, Bambi lost its spots when it grew up. However, for the excess deer, their spots become even more pronounced when they grow older. And Bambi is actually the white-tailed American deer. On the way to Jurong Bird Park, Singapore, 1st of November 2016. Uh, people are celebrating in Karnataka. Kannada Rajyotsava. Or jangaro ko chhune ki koshish na kare. Apne baal bachon aur apne saman par nazar rakhe. Dhyan rahe park mein kahi bhi tumhe baan mana hai. Aayi show ka maza uthaye. Park and Reed is playing. Accompanying me out here is my friend Baros Recenarius Vulture. In a very short while, 
he will be joined by more of his friends and they will be making low flights above you. Would you like that? Yes? Alright. When the birds are flying low above you, please do not try to reach out or touch them. This is for your safety and for the bird safety as well. And also please refrain from standing up or walking around during the show. It's just like in uh, Australia. For sure.